Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. So I am still at my friend's house and I'm looking at the goldfish. Now he has, yes, he has too much fish in the aquarium, but he loves fish so much that he's like crazy about it. Probably I am going to have to build another aquarium for him. But anyway, um, today's emphasis on uh, why is it that I use um, sand instead of gravel in this aquarium? Now, in this aquarium, now if you look very closely observe the fish as they swim and as they pick on the ground you will realize that the fish actually takes up um at times sections of the substrate whether it be sand or stone using gravel is a little bit dangerous in a goldfish aquarium especially because goldfish and cars love to do this it is best if you have either sand or no substrate at all within your uh, goldfish or koi pond. If you do choose to have um, uh, stone, the stone should be, or should I say gravel, gravel should be so big that it cannot fit in their mouth, or should be so tiny as if anything they would swallow it. What will happen is that whenever you place gravel, um, gravel that can actually fit in this mouth, uh, what the goldfish and the koi will actually go to is that it will, it will actually take up the, the gravel in its mouth and it will actually suck it off yes it will suck out the, the, the stone and sometimes in sucking off the stone the stone actually slide down the throat and in sliding down the throat it might choke the fish you might not be there to see it so therefore you cannot extract the stone from the mouth as a result of that the fish actually um die and choke on the stone and die so as a result of me knowing this i usually advise well I, I usually have a little question and answer regarding my clients as to the type of fish they plan to put in the aquarium uh what size fish they plan to put in the aquarium and then based off that now then now i can advise on the type of filtration to be used whether or not um you know the the, the lighting is necessary whether or not um you know sometimes whether or not the covering is necessary also because you know some fish jump more than some right uh, whether or not you're supposed to use stone or sand or plants if you know because some fish will actually tear up the plants for example if you put um let's say you put some plants in a uh, Oscar aquarium right uh but probably in some cases even jack dempsey aquarium you'll find that these fish will actually tear the plants to minces although there are some plants that do really well with these um fish because they're very sturdy however they will tend to cause you a good amount of change in you trying to figure out which uh, plants should actually go within the aquarium space this is really here for another fish keep in jamaica i hope that this video really interests you uh looking at the goldfish they look really nice right those goldfish with the black spots i'm not talking about the other ones with the, the black and white and all that those those are different type of goldfish but the gold uh, give it a period of probably about four months that entire goldfish will be orange what happens is that the goldfish start to change color right so as a result of the goldfish start to change color you find that the, the the silverish blackish color that the goldfish had before is actually fading away and the real color of the goldfish is coming to fruition now note that some goldfish change color very early within their growth and some goldfish um, take a very long time to change color so you might be looking at some goldfish and they say hey they, these goldfish um they I went about them they were looking goldish but um after about probably eight months 12 months one year two year you realize that you have some orange spot the fish is not sick the fish is just changing co color metaphor metamorphosis meta whatever it is thank you very much for stopping by have a wonderful day mosquito kill me bye